Okay, hey guys, this is Mr. Boyd at Denver Christian Schools. I'm just coming to you today with a little bit of a demonstration about uh, a cheap way to demonstrate um, electromagnetic force lines, especially uh, especially magnetic force lines. Um, I've just taken um, a magnet and I've inverted a baggie. Just put the baggie inside out and put the baggie, put the magnet inside there, and then I've just run this through. Um, just ordinary playground sand and picked out a lot of the, uh, the little bits and pieces of magnetite there um, or just um, iron filings that are in there from the processing of the sand and then all you do is you just um, pull this away from the plastic bag and the uh, filings just fall right off into whatever you need so you can gather up a bunch of filings pretty cheaply that way with, uh, just about five minutes worth of work um, you can just go out even to ordinary dirt or a, a playground and, and get that. So you probably have the material already. This is just a dollar store uh, cutting mat. In fact, I think you get two or three of these for a dollar. And the reason for this is because it kind of elevates things up above the magnets. And I like that it's clear because then we can really see the position of the magnets in relation to the, um, uh, to the field lines. Whereas paper sometimes is a little harder to do that with. And I just kind of spread out the filings on here. You can spread them out fairly thin. It's a nice kind of random array. Um, it doesn't take many to do this. It really doesn't. And I'm just going to show that as we move this over the two magnets, you get some pretty nice effects there. You can kind of see how one is gathering and another is... Um, is creating those nice arc patterns. Um, I've got this suspended over a couple of boards. You don't necessarily have to do that. It's just something handy that I like to do. And then what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna tap the board. I'm being a little bit more vigorous with it than I probably need to be, but um, you can slowly start to see some of those um, really wonderful arcs in there and you can vary this I also recommend that you just lift this straight up don't try to drag it off because what will happen is it'll pull the magnet filings um, magnet filings down onto the magnet so just directly lift this up and put it out of the way there and you can flip your magnets um, you can either position them a certain distance away from whoa, away from another it's hard to do one-handed um, or you can let them uh, connect together there and then again, I'm just going to move this here, and you can see some of the different behaviors. There's some nice arc lines there. Again, just kind of spread this out. I've heard that you can do this with um, certain types of ink toner, but um, my concern with that is that that's uh, potentially much messier. Um, you probably track this amount of dust into your school already, um, and it, it, it doesn't really color my fingers or anything like that. It doesn't stick. So there's some, some lovely lines right there, and again, just just tapping. You can get some of those to kind of grow or bend or to further show. That pattern. And that's it.